Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exclusive segment of Fashion 360, where we bring to you people who are influencing Nigerian pop culture positively. And on today's show, we have for you a young lady from Anambra State, and she is currently the 40th Miss Nigeria, Chioma Obiadi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hi. So, uh, how did you feel when you were crowned the 40th Miss Nigeria? Oh, wow. Uh, that moment was... I had like a rush of so many feelings because oh, yeah. uh, it has been a long journey for me and Miss Nigeria has been something I wanted for a long time. How long? So, probably since I was like very little, I can't really remember because I remember growing up and then my mom always calls me Queen Dalim because of all my Queenie Queenie and I was... Activities. Exactly, and I was Queenie almost Queenie a Activities. Disney character, okay. kind of. So, that was something I wanted. I wanted to be a princess, as, okay. you know? Okay. So, it was good for me. I was happy, I, I was excited until I got into it and realized that, okay, this is actually a lot more than uh, I expected it to be. I thought, I thought it was going to be just the red carpet and looking pretty and all of that. Yeah, but it's actually a lot more work which has been very going very well so far because of the wonderful team I have. Well, yeah, thank you very much for finding out time to be with us on the show, even if you have a 9 to 5 job now. Yeah. So, so talking about this real quick, how did you get into pageantry? Oh, pageantry for me, I started, uh, I wanted to start a long time ago, but my dad being a typical Igbo father, mm -hmm. wouldn't let me go into it. He was like, no, you have to go to school first, you have to do that. So I was patient. I waited till I got into school. I'm presently a student in Namdi Azikiwe University, presently in my 300 year. So I started in my, I had the plan to start with. It was supposed to go from Miss Jumet to Miss Fessa to Face of Unicy. Did you write that down? I, mean, I, had it it like, I had it at the back of my head. I had it at the back of my head, like Miss Jumet, Miss Fessa, Face of Unicy, Miss Anambra, Miss Nigeria, and World. Yeah, like you see how that rolled up the tongue easy. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, you, that's how you know somebody is focused and dedicated. That, which is like, all right, like, all right, these are my goals. Exactly, <laughs> that was what, and yeah. you know, it had a time frame because modeling has a time frame. So everything yeah. had to go like that, that, that yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. so talking about you being a student of Not Unisic, way, yeah. Unisic, right? Uh, there was this scandal that came out of mm -hmm. your school not too long ago. I'm sure you heard about it where the Miss Anabra was. Um, videoed in a very compromising situation that involved uh, a, is it a vegetable yes well i think that was just a very very unfortunate action i think it was probably you can you know most times you you just get pushed into the limelight and you're probably young and you're inexperienced and you might have bad guidance and that can push you towards uh like um, place to, towards places that you might not be proud of, but I think it was just really unfortunate. Yeah. It was just an a very, very unfortunate act. I know that beauty queens know each other, so is she a personal friend of yours? Yeah, I actually lost to her in the Miss Anambra competition. Yeah, she won and I lost. So oh, seen. That was okay. The... Okay, so uh, did you reach out? Did you try and make establish contact? Or uh, what happened there? I was in the Philippines when that happened. I was representing Nigeria in the Miss Earth competition. Okay. So because I I was um, all necked in in the competition. I couldn't reach out so much to her, but I asked um, from people that I felt like close to her to know if she was okay, because then there were things about her, I'm um, trying to commit suicide and all of that. So I asked if she was okay and she was fine. And I just, I just prayed for her basically, because that was huge. And in a country like Nigeria, I needed, she needed as much prayers as possible. Of course, possible. but did you as think possible. that uh, had a bad effect on the beauty queens or pageantry in general? Hmm. To me, I think there's a stereotype on beauty queens generally. What is the stereotype? The, the, we are being looked at as pretty faces, empty heads. I think that is because a lot of pageants focus mainly on the physical appearance of the queen other than the substance. And that is why I chose Miss Nigeria to other pageants in Nigeria because Miss Nigeria is 20% beauty and 80% intellectual strength. We, I say Miss Nigeria is more of an ambassadorial position than it is a beauty pageant, a beauty pageant because we're looking out for someone that can represent. We have numerous um, cultural backgrounds in Nigeria. We're looking for a queen that can represent the northern, eastern, south, south, everywhere, and everybody accepts her. So you see that beauty is not um, so much of a high uh, um, mark. It's more about your uh, intellectual strength and a lot more.